because we grow up being told we should be dainty and um, we would be looked after. You know, that's kind of the impact we have, you know, when we grow up as young girls. My name's Leah Goldstein, um, and I actually got into sports uh, because of bullying in school. So kids picked on me, um, and so I needed to find a solution to that, um, and Bruce Lee was my solution. So I saw him fight off, you know, like 30 people, and I said to my mom, I gotta learn whatever that guy's doing. In Hastings Street, there was a boxing studio, and women weren't even allowed in there. They'd put a headgear on me so they wouldn't even know that I was a woman. The whole kickboxing, taekwondo thing, it was never a dream of mine. You know, Bruce Lee was just a solution to a problem. I mean, I wanted to be James Bond. Uh, but for my, for my motivation to go into the military, it was to learn as much as possible, right? And I did. I was put right into a selection base. I was put into um, a fighting unit called Krav Maga, and I was the first female instructor for the commando. So I prepared myself for not what the women were doing, but what the men were doing. So when I left the military to go into the Israeli police force, um, there was a lot of sexism there, you know, of um, inappropriate talk to women, touching. There was a lot of infidelities going in there, people sleeping with other people to, to get at rankings and stuff like that. Um, and me not being accepted into the first course because I was a woman and me having to fight that. And so I went in, when I go, went into um, to the registration, to the administration to sign for this course, to put my name down, I was denied right from the get-go, saying this course wasn't open to women. And it just got worse and worse and worse. And even when the commissioner did finally call me, it was just, um, in that course, the first thing the lieutenant said to me, um, he walked over to me, he whispered in my ear, he says, one tear, and I'm gonna kick you out myself. And then going to my, um, the station where I was placed at, my first meeting with my boss, right, I'm going up the stairs, and it's the same, like not the same, same kind of uniform, same kind of lieutenant hat. The first thing he says to me when he sees me is make me a cup of coffee. So you know what I'm saying is it was a constant, you know. And at that point, at that, you know, because it was like, oh my God, like is this really going to happen to me all the time? I completely changed who I was. And I became, I want to create this reputation of don't F with me, right? And I did. So anything inappropriate that happened to me, I did double inappropriate back. Going up the stairs a week after that, a detective grabs my cheek. I'm not talking about this, this cheek, you know. I pulled my bread out and I pointed at him. I said, next time you squeeze my ass, I'm gonna squeeze my trigger. And that was insane, but that, um, I started to create, get, get respect. Is being like that, I started to get the respect and people were saying, well, they wouldn't even think about doing anything inappropriate or saying anything inappropriate to me because I had a reputation of being psycho now, right? See, if a man is tough, right, you know what I mean? If, she, if a man is tough, then he gets a good reputation, right? But if a woman becomes, you know, strong or tough or whatever, then she's considered, you know, bitchy or crazy or psycho. But that's how I needed to survive with what I was doing.